good today. Yeah, Parker had the energy to do that because he didn't wake up with the baby in the night. Lola doesn't like to have her arms down, which I wish that she did, and I still will try sometimes to swallow her that way, but she usually hand it to me. So she doesn't really get jealous over either thing, which is good. Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. Today I wanted to do kind of just like a little, I don't know, a little update. I'm not gonna do a full baby update yet because I'm gonna wait until next week, which Lola's gonna be a month old next week, which is so crazy. But she's sleeping right now. I just showered and got ready a little bit because we are going out to lunch today. Go learn how to open the freezer. Should we have that or should we have, I was gonna make a smoothie. Do you wanna make a smoothie with me? Yes. Okay, I was gonna make actually a different kind though. We just got some Daily Harvest. We're gonna make this one. So I'm gonna put these back. Dude, you and True Fru. This is my breast milk stash that I already have built up, which I'm very excited about. I've been using, I'll help you open that. The Haka, I'll help you open it which is this thing that you like put on your boob when your baby's breastfeeding, like you put on the other side, and it catches all the milk, or the hand pump is my favorite. So, when I had Cove, I kind of built up like a... We can make this smoothie with mom. We can eat that too. I built up a like, little stash of milk at the beginning, and then it was so nice because I just like always had it in the freezer. Anyway, mom, please have one. Update on my end. I woke up this morning at six and worked out. I'm feeling good today. Yeah, Parker had the energy to do that because he didn't wake up with the baby in the night. I woke up one time when he woke up. And sometimes I didn't there's get just up. like, not, I don't wake Parker up every time because there's just not always something I feel like, do. La like with Cove, when Cove was, thank you, all gone. With Cove, I wanted to wake up and like, you know, even if I was just massaging Aspen's feet or something while she fed or something, you know, I was like up healthy. <laughs> but I feel like Aspen understands that I need energy to be able to wake yeah, up with her at literally, she woke up, woke up this morning at 7 a.m. The last few days I've been thinking I want to wake up and work out and I'll wake up at like seven and get down there and she's up at 7.05. Mm -hmm. So then I don't get a workout. So that's why this morning I woke up at six, mm -hmm. got a full workout in, then Cove woke up at seven. Yeah, obviously I breastfeed, so there's kind of only so much Parker can do. I'll wake him up like sometimes if I'm like, wow, I really don't feel like getting up and it can be his turn to get up. But then he just like hands her to me because I have to feed her. So when I need help, I'll wake him up. But it's definitely been an adjustment with having a toddler too. But the good thing is she's a daddy's girl, which is good because right now obviously the baby kind of needs me a little bit more. So I feel like it's kind of been, wouldn't you say it's gone like kind of as you expected it to go? Yes. I think I even said it in a video that I w was thinking that it would be like you'd be laying at home with the baby while I'm out doing stuff with Cove. And that's exactly how it's been. Yeah, Parker tries to like take Cove out to still like do stuff. Like he takes her to gymnastics. And sometimes I go to do the stuff too. Even if we just like go on a drive somewhere. Should we blend up this movie? Do you want to help me? And you can push the button. Yeah. Okay, push the button. Push it. Yeah, I feel like we knew going from one to two kids would be harder than zero to one just because like you have two kids. So it's obviously more work than if you only have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of people think that zero to one is like way hard because you've never had a baby before. But Cove was just like a really, really good newborn. But Lola's yeah. been good too. I was nervous that she would be like kind of yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, did you get brain freeze? Yeah. Was it cold in your brain? Yeah. It was cold in your brain. Yeah. Anyways, it's definitely been, I feel like not really survival mode because I feel good. We're definitely still just like adjusting to everything and we haven't really been filming as much. I've still had like a couple Instagram campaigns and stuff that I've had to get done. And the last quarter of the year is always way crazy. So we've been getting like tons of offers for deals and stuff. Even though I want to like take time off, it just really sucks to like pass on things that we want to do and that like makes sense for us. I've been trying to like stay on top of all of that stuff and like planning everything and our calendar and our schedule and still be just like relaxing with my new baby. Yeah, that's kind of how things have been going. But I feel like it's been good. Cove's been adjusting pretty well. She has only gotten jealous maybe like once or twice. She got jealous today. She got jealous today because it was when I showered and was like getting ready. Lola like woke up from her nap super early. You want a piece of bread? Yeah. So Parker was trying to like get her down and then Cove was like not really happy about that. But for the most part, I feel like Cove's been doing really well. Again, because she's nice. Like, I pretty much had the baby and Parker's had her. Mom! Mom, 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 mom. Do you want any toast? Should we toast it? 
No. Do you want to put like peanut butter on it or something? No. You want peanut butter and jelly? No. Do you want to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? And you can do it? Yes, Daddy. You're welcome. Do you want to put it on? Yes. You do? Okay, you can put on the peanut butter and the jelly. Yeah, so. Oh. Oh. Mm. Good job. I wanted to talk about what I actually used in my hospital bag and what they gave me because I did that last time. And I just think those videos are always like, really fun to watch. Thank you. So we'll talk about that. No. Lola's also not on a schedule yet. I did a schedule really early on with Cove and she was just like a really great baby. So it worked out really well. Thank you so much. So I've been trying to like slowly get Lola on a schedule, like still following what like ever she wants to do but also implementing the schedule at the same time so i got her up today at seven because it had been three hours since she'd eaten anyways and then i need to get her up at like around 10 ish which is in 10 minutes so i'm gonna probably wait, wait a little bit longer should we make it a sandwich yeah <gasps> yum that is so delicious <laughs> You enjoy your sandwich and your smoothie cake. I also started Christmas shopping, which I'm really excited about. I'm like pretty much done besides stuff for Parker and like my mom, but I have most of the stuff that I'm gonna get for the girls. Or I like ordered it at least, but I got them these cute matching outfits. And then I got this for Cove, which she actually already saw it when I got it out of the package yesterday and she played with it for a second. So that happens with like every gift that I ever have for her. Somehow she sees it and then I'm always like, oh, you can play with it. And I let her play with it for like five minutes and then I put it away. Anyway, it's going into my room. Yeah, I got Cove this like big bounce house thing and then for Lola I'm doing a box of love every toys I really like their subscription and I already have the box and she's literally tiny and like I already have everything I need for her so I'm gonna give her that and then for Cove I got her the bounce house and then just like a couple other toys the bounce house is like huge and like kind of pricey so that's her main big gift and it's for both of them but obviously Lola's not gonna use it until she's a little bit older what'd you get me I didn't get you anything yet I told Parker oh. I needed his list I'm trying to get too. my Christmas shopping done really early you know what else is coming up tomorrow all right never Six year wedding anniversary. How many years have we been together? Mm, like eight maybe. or seven? I think eight. Seven or eight. We got married when? 2015. In 2015. We got together officially in 2013, but we were kind of like it a was thing like in 2012. Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> A lot of years though yeah. but yeah lauren's actually gonna babysit tomorrow so that'll be fun i gave lola a bottle already i actually have one in the fridge she's only had it one time so i think we need to give her one today again just like make sure that she'll take it i don't think we'll be gone for more than three hours we're just gonna go get like a foam massage and go to dinner i don't know that's why it's hard to not have your baby on a schedule if you don't know like what time you're gonna do stuff because then it's so hard to plan around we just need to like finalize the plan and everything yeah i guess i'll show you guys Lola, because she looks really cute sleeping, and I've got to get her up in a minute. I think I had Cove on a pretty good schedule by like, I started around three weeks, and then I feel like she followed it pretty well, like after a week or two. We love this. Lola doesn't like to have her arms down, which I wish that she did, and I still will try sometimes to swaddle her that way, but she usually just like doesn't like it. So we've been using this Love to Dream swaddle. The only thing I don't like about it is it's a little bit thin, so... I have this blanket that we like tuck around her so that she stays warm since it is so cold or it's not like that cold but getting colder you know well, i don't even know what exactly i'm about to film right now i just need to organize my thoughts so hold on a few moments later okay so i just watched my what's in my hospital bag to remember what i packed because i wanted to leave it packed to like show you guys what i use but we unpacked it like really soon after the hospital so i'll just like kind of list off what i used and guys i have perfected the hospital bag what I brought and what I tell you I used are the essentials so if anyone is having a baby soon keep watching but I want to also show you guys what the hospital gave me and kind of like what I use postpartum because if you did not know after you have a baby things are not like all the way normal you bleed and there's just like aftercare stuff that you have to do because it's obviously like very sore down there so uh, I don't know a lot of people are like oh like I never knew that no one ever talks about it I feel like people talk about it you just have to like look for the info a lot of people say they're not prepared for that part of labor and postpartum and stuff because you just like don't always think about it like you kind of just think like oh you have the baby and then you're good you have to just like take care of the baby but you also have to take care of yourself so i'll show you guys what the hospital gave me and what i actually used from that so this is something the hospital did not give me but it's one of my favorite things our sink water this is a first world first world problem but it takes a few minutes to heat up and it's just kind of like i'm not gonna wait that few minutes so 
I have this. A brand, I think, sent it to me like a long time ago. I don't even know, but they have this on Amazon. This is a little mini fridge, but it also will heat stuff up. There's a switch on the back that you can do warm or cold. So I usually have just like some water in here and it's actually too hot because you like spray this on yourself instead of using toilet paper so this is what the hospital gives you i kept this one in here just in case i needed like an extra one but i have a different one that i bought so i'll show you guys usually it's like the water is a little bit too hot so i wouldn't fill it up all the way and then i would put in the cold water and mix it so it was like more warm so it's kind of a process to go pee but if your water takes a little bit to heat up ours takes like probably four or five minutes your muscles down there are also just not as strong after you had a baby so sometimes you just can't hold it that long and if you have to pee you just have to pee so highly recommend this i think it's not that expensive i don't know but if your water takes a while to heat up definitely recommend that one of my favorite mom life hacks or just a life hack in general not even really a hack just something that i like to do is have baskets for everything because if you have a bunch of stuff don't know where to put it feels unorganized that's something that makes me feel really stressed out so if you just have a basket and can throw everything in there it makes it feel organized even though it's like not actually that organized but anyways this is what i like to use instead of the bottle that the hospital gives you because the angle is way better so you fill this with water you gotta spray it down there nice freedom mom bottle definitely worth the money i think this is like 20 dollars. the hospital gives you that one for free and also not all hospitals will like provide what mine provided so check with yours but i think a lot of them provide like similar things so anyways this is definitely worth it to have they also gave me some really huge pads that i don't have anymore because i feel like after the first day you don't really need them but it literally is like a diaper it's so big so they will give you some of those probably and then a couple ice packs too but after like the first day or two i didn't really need those um so then i have these little pads you kind of need a lot of different sizes because you bleed a lot after you have a baby it's different for everyone like how much and for how long these are like the big pads that i got that i used for a little bit and then i have this other size and then i have even smaller ones that actually are not in here and i need to put more in here um so the hospital will give you some pads but from my experience after the first few days those ones are like too big so you need to like get your own that are going to be better the hospital will also give you this stuff last time i used up all of this stuff that they gave me this is like a spray that you're supposed to spray down there and it helps it to like not be in pain as much but i did not tear as much this time Last time I had second degree tears, this time I only had like, I guess it would have been first degree, just like a little teeny, teeny, tiny tear. So I didn't need as much of like all of this stuff because it wasn't as bad to recover. But they also gave me this little like gel stuff that you put on. Do you want to eat? Okay, just give mom like one minute and then we'll eat. And then they also give you these tux pads. So we're supposed to do, oh, and they also gave me hospital underwear, which I don't have anymore, but I bought, I think I showed you guys when I bought that other pair of underwear. All right, I showed you guys this stuff. I'm gonna feed her and I'll keep talking but so anyways the hospital will give you the mesh underwear which i really like those they're just like nice and loose and comfy so you put like that on or your own underwear if you want to some people like to use like the depends or oh i don't even know what brand it is but there's like adult diapers i don't really like those i don't think i i don't remember if i tried them last time i don't think i did but i just like didn't feel like using that some people like those but the hospital will show you do you like put on the underwear and then the pad and then like those tux pads like the little circle things and then like maybe the gel or the spray stuff so there's like a whole system and your nurses should show you what to do But I did a video on my main channel where I showed every single thing that was in my hospital bag I kind of showed a few things on the vlog channel I will just like go through that list really quick and tell you guys what I use So first thing was a toiletry bag I did use that for like my toothbrush and toothpaste and all that stuff And I think my makeup was maybe in there too I don't even remember it But I did put on makeup when I was in labor So that I would be a little bit cuter Oh this battery is also gonna die Um I didn't shower there because we only stayed 24 hours So this hospital bag is perfect for if you you have like a fast labor where you only stay for a day which obviously you never know like what to plan for oh my goodness i do live really close to the hospital though so again if i forgot anything somebody could have just got it for me um shower shoes brought those didn't use them because i didn't shower since we only stayed for 24 hours i was like i'm just gonna shower in my own shower when i get home i brought a bralette which i did wear and then i ended up throwing in a second one there's like a nursing bra because i thought my bralette would get dirty in labor and like bloody and all that stuff but it actually didn't so i just like kept the same one on the whole time so i didn't bring or i didn't wear the nursing bra that i brought but i had like a comfy bralette anyways i also packed a going home outfit which i did wear i only packed one outfit for me and that is what 
that I wore home. Parker's outfit, he ended up leaving, so I don't think he used his outfit because he took Cove to gymnastics and came home and showered, but it's good to just like bring an outfit for your husband or your partner or whoever. I brought my sleep mask, which I also did use because there's like lots of monitors and stuff in there, so it's kind of bright. We brought a blanket for me, a blanket for Parker. Both of us used those. Those are definitely worth bringing, I think. Um, I brought one baby outfit. The rest of the time, usually my baby is just like in their diaper and we're doing skin to skin. So only used one baby outfit. I brought a swaddle for her, which we use for pictures and stuff. And then I had a binky in there, but I took it out because I needed to clean it and I forgot to use it. So we just used one from the hospital, which a lot of people don't give their baby a binky that soon, but I did and it was fine. So the hospital had that. I also brought a bow for her, which I think we used for her pictures. And then I also brought nipple butter which i did use the hospital probably has some but i didn't use it from there last time so i just brought my own this time but your nips are gonna hurt if you're breastfeeding i feel like they actually didn't hurt that bad for like a couple days but i just brought that with me and i did end up using it and then we brought our camera our computer that stuff we used all of that and then i said in my video that we were gonna bring snacks but we were not prepared and we did not have any and we didn't bring any and luckily we were able to not me but parker was able to leave the hospital and they have snacks there so we were fine but we also just like door dashed a couple things so that's what i actually use for my hospital bag so i feel like i used like almost everything gotta do what you gotta do to get your toddler ready so she's watching a song parker's getting a little ready let's do your hair Lola is all ready for the day. You look cute. You haven't worn this outfit before, huh? This one was a present. You look so cute, baby. Cannot believe she's already three weeks old. Going by so fast, huh? You're just such a sweet baby. We're going to lunch at 11. It's 10.37. I'm ready. Parker's ready. Both girls are ready. She's fed and hopefully she will fall asleep in the car so that we can have a nice uninterrupted lunch but anyways i'm trying to think what other updates to give you guys um i feel like we're still just kind of like figuring things out I'm trying to figure out life and what to do i'm trying to figure out i don't know just like what what to do basically i feel like we've been talking about hiring a nanny or something like one or two days a week for a few hours so that we can both just like work interrupted and get stuff done i feel like that would be a lot easier than us just like trading off with the kids trying to get stuff done. I don't know, I'm just a planner. So I like to know like, okay, Tuesday and Thursday from nine to 12, I like have those hours to just like be able to get work done and stuff. So I'm not like fully back into work or anything yet, but I still have been like having stuff that I need to get done. And I'm grateful for my job that I can do it like whenever I like need to and everything. And I like work from home and can still be with my babies. But it's been stressful because I've been trying to just like figure out what to do for that. We've never like had a nanny before, so I don't know. Um, a lot of people told me to look on care.com, so I've been kind of like checking there, but I don't know. So we're kind of like trying to figure out what we want to do for that. And it's also just hard because if I'm breastfeeding, like I'm still gonna be with the baby, you know? So I feel like a nanny would help even just like to help with Cove. I don't know, trying to like figure it out and find balance, but also trying to just really enjoy like this postpartum period where she's still so little, so little and so so sweet and i don't want to like rush anything yet so we still haven't been like filming a ton yeah i'm still just like really enjoying this period and a lot of the time me and lola are just like in my bed cuddling and you know bonding with each other so oh, she's so cute are you the sweetest little girl you guys will have to comment if you think she looks like cove i thought they would be twins but i really don't think that they look alike that much and a lot of people are saying that she looks like me which i feel like it's hard to say if you think a baby looks like yourself especially when they're so little like i don't really see it but i definitely don't think she looks like parker and cove parker and cove look like exactly the same to me and she looks a little bit different she has a lot more hair a lot of people are like wow she has brown hair but cove had um dark hair like this when she was born too she didn't have quite as much but she definitely had dark hair and my hair was dark when i was little too so i wasn't really that surprised i was surprised she has this much hair but i had kind of a lot of hair too when i was born maybe she looks a little bit more like me or she will look like me. Luma is adjusting pretty well also. 
She really loves this new blanket that we got. So she's been snuggled up on here most of the time. She doesn't really care if I am with Lola, but if Parker's like near Lola or touching her, then Luma like wants to be right there and like be involved and also get attention. So it's kind of funny. But overall, everybody has been doing pretty good. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here so that it's like ready to go. We actually have an appointment for something with my car. I don't even know. So Parker's gonna go do that after lunch and he's gonna take um, his computer and edits. I think he's gonna be sitting there for a little bit. I don't know what they're doing to it, but um, I'm gonna end the vlog here so that it's all finished and filmed and Parker can just edit that while he's gone. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Oh wait, maybe I should answer some questions really quick because I told you guys on the last video to comment, but the battery, we switched the battery and it's flashing at me again, even though it's a new battery. So, I'll answer questions for a sec and if this dies, that's just gonna be the end of the video and I'm not gonna switch the battery again to like officially end this, but let me see. There's some questions. I'll just answer a couple. Can you please talk about your body after pregnancy i'm a bit scared of the changes how long does it take for your belly to go down and your abs to tone up again i'll actually show you guys my belly so i kind of talked earlier about like what happens with your body but basically you just need to know i don't even know really how to like describe what you need to know <laughs> like what you need to be prepared for i'm gonna open my blinds also because it's kind of dark in here just know that it is definitely hard after postpartum but you get through it. And I don't wanna say things like go back to normal because what even is normal? Like obviously your baby's gonna be different or your body's gonna be different after you've had a baby. But um, after a few weeks, like you definitely start to feel a little bit more like yourself. So here's what my stomach currently looks like. So it's definitely not flat. Obviously I still have like some baby weight that I would like to lose eventually, but yeah. So your stomach is definitely like kind of big after still. It's a lot bigger after you like right after you have the baby. Um, it literally looks like you're like six months pregnant. I want to do like a full Q&A on my main channel so I can kind of go more into depth with questions there. Are you still following the same schedule you did with Cove or did your schedule have to be changed since you have a toddler now? Like I said, she's really not on a schedule yet. I'm kind of working on it, but it's like a, if you guys can hear Cove crying, Parker's out there with her, so she's fine. Um, but it's just like a slow, it's kind of just like a slow transition. So I'm trying to have her be on the same schedule that Cove was on, which is like an eat, awake, sleep schedule. And um, feeding her like every three hours that helped Cove sleep through the night pretty early and just helped her be like a happy, well-rested, well-fed baby. So we're working on that, huh? But I think I definitely, since I have a toddler, will have to be more like flexible with it. Like with Cove, I didn't really need to be super flexible. Like I was sometimes if we like were going somewhere or whatever, but when you only have one baby, it's a lot easier to follow a schedule. So I'm sure we'll have a little more flexibility in hers this time. Do you think the transition from one to two is harder or easier because of Cove's age? I definitely wouldn't have wanted them any closer. A lot of my friends have two under two. They're pretty much like exactly two years apart. It's like two years and a month, but I'm glad Cove is like the age she is. If anything, I would have wanted her like a little bit older just so that she could like understand better and help more. But I think two under two would have been like a lot harder so i do like the age gap so far obviously it's like early days someone said where did you get that block set i think they're talking about the blocks that um lola got for cove when we got home from the hospital it's from amazon so i will link that down below she's really liked them they're super cute and like pastel and she plays with them all the time people are asking about lola's name and it's not that long of a story or anything but since the battery's gonna die on this in like two seconds i will answer that in the next video so ask more questions if you guys have more how has postpartum recovery been i feel like it's been a little bit easier this time just because i didn't tear as much i do think it's been like more there's like other pains like my pelvis or something is messed up hurts a little bit more than last time i think it's because she was facing up when she came out like sunny side up so i don't know if that like messed up my insides i don't know but um i've been trying to still like go on walks and stuff that's a little more painful but postpartum this time hasn't been like quite as bad as last time. I think the main reason again is just because I didn't like tear as much. Okay, I'll do one more question. Does Cove get jealous of Lola when you breastfeed or give her binkies? No, she doesn't really care when I breastfeed. I feel like she literally doesn't even notice and she's just obsessed with Lola's binkies. She loves to like just hand them to me and like point them out. Anytime we show Cove with a binky, people are like, oh, I thought you got rid of it. But we've said a few times that that just didn't work and we're gonna get rid of them at some point. So Cove still has her binky when she sleeps. So she's not really jealous 
jealous because she still like has her own and she like thinks it's fun that Lola has binkies too. So the binky will be sitting like right next to me and Cove will notice it and pick it up and be like, oh here mom. Like she just loves to touch them for some reason and like hand it to me. So she doesn't really get jealous over either thing, which is good. Yeah, we need to make a plan for figuring out when to take away Cove's binky. We just decided to wait a little bit longer so we could like explain it to her better and she could understand better. So bless you. Bless you. We'll probably do that sometime in the near future. Anyways, that is going to be it. The camera hasn't died so far, so I'm gonna end this really quick. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys in our next vlog next week. Bye, guys.